YouTube friends, on my way back, I took a different route and discovered a howitzer, a howitzer cannon. You can see all the specs here on it. It can shoot a, a range 9.25 miles, 13 man crew. Let's take a look at it. It's a little windier here than at the cemetery. Look at this thing. Howitzer. Howitzers, I think, are World War One. I'm no big military arms expert, but look at all the gearing in there. See how they got it capped off at the end? That thing put out, oh, look at it. It's even got some writing on there. It says Howitzer right on the barrel end there. Even a tube number. Wow. Yep, this is authentic Howitzer here, guys. What really caught me is look at these wedges they build on it for the kickback. That's kind of like your shoulder there getting dug into the ground holding your shotgun. But we're talking a lot bigger scale. That thing holds back the kickback. So they, you can see how it digs out of the ground. You know, when you see these fire, they always give kind of a ricochet and these things probably pop dirt out of the ground. And the 13 man crew stand back here getting ready to load more shells right in the back there. It is an, it's incredible. It's, I've never seen one quite up this close before. Big pneumatic tires. Yeah, look at how many screws are on that tire. And we got two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. This is, wow. Yeah, and there, look at the spring coil reload. So it, it, it coils back and it's ready to reload right away. And nine miles. I mean, remember those guns I showed you on the Missouri? 23 miles, but those were way bigger. This thing can shoot nearly half the distance of the Missouri guns. And this thing is nowhere near as big. That's why the howitzer was a very reliable field cannon that they used in the war. You could lob it off to nine miles. You don't have to send the troops in to you know, clear your path. If your cannon fire or line of cannon fire will clear your path and the troops advance, and the cannons move forward, blast them nine more miles make them move back again but yeah this is a nice park you can see the silos over in the distance there from Wyndham some kids are playing kickball right over there there's a newer water tower well this is Legion Park you can see the site it, uh, that's the newer water tower there's an older water tower on the other side of town it, uh, Let's see the plaque. Take a look at the plaque here. Dedicated in 1983. September 11th, 1983. Isn't that, isn't that uh, a coincidence? That uh, is a coincidence. Nice granite. And you know how I like the granite nowadays. This was one nice piece of granite that had all the same same veiny in it, the same white and black veining, very nicely polished. But, uh, yeah, dedicated September 11th, 1983. That is incredible. In 2001, look what happened, 17, 18 years later. Or, anyway, 83, 93, 10. 2003 would be 20, so minus 2 is 18 years. You know, but, uh, that was, I didn't expect that. Well, I'm going to see if I can make my way back. There's the south. It's a nice little town. There is a lot of old houses on the, on the path up to the cemetery from the Boldies, which is down over, back beyond the trees over that way. Cemetery is down the street. But uh, I'm going to keep this video pretty short. 
I wanted to share this howitzer with you that I just discovered on my bike ride off the way. I, I didn't really plan it. I just kind of just turned down the street. I know I'm not going to get lost. I have eyes on the west. I just say Google Maps. But, uh, you guys have a wonderful day. I'm glad I got to share this howitzer with you. Pretty cool, cool cannon.